So in this video, I'm going to show you the circuitry for the Predator bolt gun that I am making from Prey. Here's all the circuitry for it. Here's the power source for the Arduino Nano I'm using to control it. That's an on and off button. And these nine volt batteries are only for the, only for the coil, which fires a, the electromagnetic coil here, which fires a mag, which fires a projectile that's 3D printed with a lot of neodymium magnets on the back. The coil is 36 gauge wire around around a 3D printed body I made in a previous project. The batteries are connected right here in this quick connector to a relay. And that relay is what controls the coil, the turning the circuit for the coil on or off. Now, here's the fun part. There's the laser, an aiming laser, a, like a ready LED, which is very bright white, another relay, and the two buttons. There's button one, and there's button two. This is kind of messy looking because it's just the prototype of a prototype. Just the bare minimum of the circuitry. So if I push button two, it turns on this LED showing that the relay is being powered, but there's no clicking noise coming from it. That's because of a fail safe that I put in it has because it that relay is connected to another relay that if i push button one turns on that bright led then the, the lasers turn on three quarters of a second later and at the same time that the laser turns on the first relay starts like you can hear that clicking noise, that's the relay being activated. And so if I push button two, it should shoot that because it connects to connects to the second relay. Now I'll show it again from a farther distance if I can get this to work again. It's been very problematic. Hmm. Buttons are working. But there must be some bad connection somewhere. That's not making the coil turn on. Make sure everything is connected. And so, there's that, and hmm, just experimenting with wire connections here. And let's hope this works. Hmm. Is power running low somewhere? What's going on? Make sure everything is connected. So, button one. There we go. Put the projectile back in. See if I can get this to work again. And there we go. So that's all. That's all the explanation I have for it right now. The code I put in is relatively simple. 